Okay, I've got a new uh, bundling and compressing strategy for these life post cells. Uh, these are going to go into my large battery bank. Uh, the package strapping worked pretty well for the 12 volt battery I built previously, but it didn't hold the cells as securely as I anticipated. Uh, there was still some movement in the cells, and I want to make sure there's absolutely no movement with these cells because I don't want the terminals damaged. The terminals are going to be held with, uh, or the terminals will be uh, connected with a uh, rigid bus bar, rigid copper bus bar. And uh, if there's any expansion in the cells, it could rip out terminals or screws or who knows what. So uh, I'm going to bundle these uh, more securely using vinyl electrical tape. I found over the years that uh, this is nice and stretchy. You can get a good compression on it. And uh, so I'm going to bundle them with the electrical tape. So um, what I've got is just two pieces of thin plywood. Uh, it's probably, what, three-eighths, I guess? I don't know. Um, on the ends uh, to hold the uh, ends of the outside cells in from uh, expanding or pooching out in any way. So I just, um, I wrap, I start it this way, I wrap a little bit of tape around the first one and then put that in place. And then I do a, a gentle wrap with not too much tension on it just to get the uh, party started here so now that's all the way around it'll hold itself and uh, now I can put a little bit more force on it so each wrap I'm putting a bit of stretch on the tape and then sticking it in place so I'll just go around and around like that <sighs> What the heck's going on here? Is that normal? Oh, I guess it's just a little bit of warp in the plywood. Yeah, there too. Okay. Okay, as I get to the bottom here, uh, I can't tape the bottom because the jig's in the way. So at this point it's secure enough that if I move it carefully, uh, none of the cells will shift in there. So I will do that. Move it carefully. Ooh. And continue wrapping the bottom. So it feels like that's got a nice even compression on it all the way from top to bottom. And uh, it's a gentle compression. It doesn't seem to concentrate in any one spot. So as I get to the bottom there, I just go around one corner and then cut it. And now 
I like to do a, a couple wraps between the terminals as well. Uh, as that seems like it holds it in place much better. So just make sure that that's straight, square with the sides. And uh, I usually do five wraps in two spots between the terminals. There's one, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> so now uh, I'm gonna put one more wrap right here, but I wanna put a piece of this strapping on top of those barcodes just in case I ever need those down the road. I don't want the tape to damage them in any way, so. Uh, I'm gonna start another roll of tape here with one of these sections of package strapping. I imagine you could use anything that, uh, you know, would avoid sticking to those QR codes, I guess they are. So I'll put that in place there and then do another five wraps on that side. There's one. Two. Three. Four. And there we have it, another group of four parallel connected 280 amp hour cells. So I'm gonna have 16 of those. Each one will function as a single cell and uh, they'll be series connected. Each bundle of four will be series connected to create a 48 volt nominal battery. So that's it, I just wanted to share my uh, updated bundling strategy for my larger battery bank. Um, and that's it, signing off.